I'm Curtis Bennett, product developer here at HPX Controls, and today I am super excited to introduce to you a new product that we just launched in 2014, the Eco 550. As you can see, it has a full graphic display, it has a three button interface for very easy and intuitive programming. Some of the major features of the Eco 550 are you can do up to three stages of heat pump or two stages plus a backup. You can run the reversing valve and or three-way valves and it has outdoor reset not only on the hot tank now but on the cold tank. If we take a look inside the wiring chamber you can see that it's very easy to access just by the flick of a screwdriver and it's got color coded and keyed terminals and a very large chamber for the wiring as well. So these are just a few of the features that we have in the new Eco 550. When you first power up the control, you'll see that it's an Eco 550 with a version 1.0. It will also give you a choose control type of the geothermal. We've left space in here for future applications. Once you see the full status screen, you can see that we have hot tank temperatures, cold tank temperatures, outdoor temperatures, all the targets, and all the devices attached to the bottom of the control. We have a heat pump, which is off, a system pump, which is off, and a reversing valve, which is off. You can also see by the backlit display that it has different functionalities when devices are on. When we go into the programming menu, you hold the button in to get into the programming menu. This allows us to see the heat pumps and change functionality on the heat pumps, set up our tanks, set up backup, and set up priority to cold or hot. Using the buttons we can go to any of these selections. If we go into the tank selections we can see that there's a hot tank setup, a cold tank setup, cold weather and warm weather shutdown time. If we go into the actual hot tank setup, you can see some of the settings for the hot tank setup. If we go down and change the outdoor temperature from off to something else, you'll see that it intuitively changes the menu to let you know what you can and can't change for your separate options. To get out of this menu, you just hold the button down and it will pop you out one menu screen. It can also show you some of the backup options. We got backup time, backup temperature, backup differential. Go into the heat pump options. You can see that we can change up to one, two, and three heat pumps. We also have lag time to set up. We can rotate based on time and rotate based on cycles as well. Pop back to the main screen. And you can see everything on the main screen again. So now you can see that we've set up heat pump one, heat pump two, heat pump three, and the reversing valve. These also show us where they're hooked up to the control, so you don't even need a wiring diagram to hook up. This spot will hook up to the first spot on the bottom of the control. Heat pump 2 will hook up to the second location. Heat pump 3 to the third location. And the reversing valve to the last location on the control. That's just a basic overview of the HPX Eco 550. We hope that helps.